Yeah, they've hijacked perspective, basically. They've taken the effects of things getting smaller and smaller into the distance, kept the values for those items the same at any distance, and called the effect Earth Curve using angles of geometry and drawing sagittas, not accounting for things getting smaller into the distance. People who come here and say that it does account for angular size are just liars. Blue marble signs. In the orthographic view, the observer and the object are the same distance away. Therefore, no change in the parent size due to perspective. Quote me accurately, or I may do another video. Read him again. Okay. In the orthographic view, the observer and the object are the same distance away. Therefore, no change in the parent size due to perspective. Quote me accurately, or I may do another video. In orthographic view, they're not necessarily accounting for perspective at all. That's the first issue. That's the point of using it. You're normally drawing a single line between target and observer. This is the line that Brenda took. Let's discuss your understanding and knowledge of orthographic representations rather than addressing the point. The point being that why is he now asking us about the angular representation in an orthographic view when his mathematics using orthographic view doesn't use angles? So, blue marble science, you complete numpty. Why would you be asking us about the angular representations that aren't included in your orthographic maths? Is our acumen about random orthographic maths that do include angular sizes relevant when your maths doesn't? Now, given that you're asking us about how angular sizes are represented in orthographic view, I'd like you to show me those angular sizes in your mathematics. Now, bearing in mind I've just made it quite clear that they're not there, I'll just win this out straight away and say, you complete loser. You, like Brenda, have missed the point and tried to highlight a straw man to burn in terms of our acumen and understanding about orthographic representations that do include angular sizes when yours don't include angular sizes the point of our argument so we'll discuss the angular sizes and how they're represented in orthographic view as soon as you show them in the maths for an earth curve that hijacks perspective and doesn't account for angular size change so we'll discuss them when you show us them in your earth curve maths blue marble retard they're not there, moron. That's the point of our argument, not our acumen in terms of how well we understand orthographic views, not necessarily applicable to your earth curve maths, that doesn't have angular sizes in them, you complete dick. Hope that addresses your question. Quote me precisely, or I'll make a video about it. No, I don't give a shit. You're a moron. I don't understand what he's trying... The observer and the object are the same distance yeah, away. Yeah, I understand what he's doing. What he's doing, he's saying, the man on the left and the boat aren't moving. They're the same distance. They're a fixed distance. So there will be no angular size change. Well, yeah, that's because this cartoon's not moving. The boat's not actually sailing away from him in the image. So, no, this is never going to represent an angular size change. It would and could, if I just simply draw a line that represents an angle to the top and bottom of it, represent an angular size. But you, his maths doesn't include angular sizes. So he's justifying it by saying, well, when we've got a fixed picture, there's no angular size change. So there's no delta of the thing we're asking to be included in the maths when the maths has hijacked the very effect of angular sizes. Oh, no, let's detail exactly. angular sizes and how they change. And in this picture, they don't. So his point is, in this picture, there's no representation of an angular size change. Well, no, that's because there's not a second boat in the picture and two lots of angles being drawn to it. So, no, based on your language, no, you don't need to argue very much about an angular size change in this picture with a static boat. However, your mathematics for a globe doesn't include angular sizes. That would be the point we're making. Maybe make a video about how your maths doesn't include angular sizes and the boat's always going to be 30 foot. Even if I draw a million miles on this line, our point being, this boat will always be 30 foot in your maths. It'll never change in size, even though it's getting so small, a million miles, there's no sodding way you'll see it. But your maths will still see it. You just draw it halfway around an earth curve. I don't know, 3,000 miles away, but it's still 30 feet. Yeah, well, it hasn't reduced in size, angular size, apparent size, for your apparent maths that you don't have. Fools. 
Blue Marble's completely retarded. He thinks his clever use of wording's going to catch us out. No, I don't think exactly. so, Blue Marble. Yeah, he's, he's, just conceding, he's just conceding our point, essentially, by saying that Sidon uh, views can't show perspective. That's our point, and he's conceding it. That's... And the people that watch him are too stupid to realize that, so we have to educate them on it. That, that's exactly right, Babs. That's my point. The way he forms this question is exactly what Babs says. He's conceding, he's conceding that. Now, has he ever stood at a dock and waved goodbye to people leaving on a cruise ship? Does that cruise ship not get smaller as it gets away from you in distance? Is he going to say it's the same size as it was in front of him in the dock where he couldn't see anything because it was blocking things that were behind it? Is this guy insane? Yeah, I mean, according to, to him, on a flat Earth, everything is the same size um, with distance. Nothing changes. You should be able to see Australia from New York. Yeah, they're, they're crazy. They're, him, him and Brenda both are crazy, man. Yeah, they're so brainwashed by their own mathematics that excludes perspective that they expect us to see forever on a flat plane because their maths implies that you can see forever if you straighten out the line that's obscuring it. Now, what that actually tells you is they've hijacked the effect of perspective and called it Earth Curve. So if you straighten out the line, in their representation, this would be the quarter of a, a quarter of a sphere with the boat down here somewhere and the man up here somewhere and a sagittar and a tangent and all sorts of geometry and angles being drawn, but no angular sizes. The boat on the other side of the curved Earth would be 30 feet and the man rising up and down and giving you an apparent horizon, geometric though it is in their model, would be 6 feet. And that's all the maths ever shows. So even though in their geometric maths on the Metabunk site, for instance, it's literally got half, a quarter of a sphere in the uh, pictorial representation, that quarter of a sphere, what would that be representing? Several thousand miles. Well, you can't see a boat that's 30 feet at several thousand miles, but in their maths and their depictions, you can. So when you straighten out that curved line that's got several thousand miles represented and you drawing a straight line between target and observer and just saying that the reason you can't see it is because of a bloody earth curve getting in the way, that's no longer geometric and capable of obstruction unless you suck all the atmosphere out. But that aside, when you straighten out the line, they think that you should still see the boat because there isn't an earth curve in the way. It's like, well, no, the earth curve was never in the way, but the boat was definitely too small to see halfway around or quarter of the way around your sphere. If it was a sphere, you'd still have the effects of perspective, but they're completely ignored in your maths. In reality, hijacked by their maths and called earth curve. Things get too small to see as they get further away. It's perspective. Well, in their maths, that doesn't even happen. Things are falling away from you, even though they're rising. If you stand with a boat right next to you on the harbour, you could very easily be looking down at the bottom of the boat. Well, by the time it gets out to the horizon, it's no longer looking down at a very low angle to the bottom of the boat in the water beneath your feet. It's rised up as it's gone away from you. With perspective, isn't that amazing? Just like those depictions of the water. Well, the bottom of it is rising up like the boat would do if it went away from you. Yeah, you'd look at the bottom of it. You'd have to look right down at the, your feet to see the bottom of the boat when it's in the harbour. But as it goes out towards the altitude, uh, goes out towards the horizon, is it going to be curving away, down, falling, dropping with the perspective view that they remove and hijack with Muppet vision? No. The bottom of the boat's going to rise up and up and up and up and up and up and up until it reaches the horizon. And then at the point of the horizon is where it's too small. And it'll start disappearing with angular resolution limits based on the deck that you're looking over and the limited angle to the bottom of it. None of which is represented in this view. It, all you've got in this view is an eternal view forever and a value that you can attribute for the distance between it. And never will it get too small to see. Precisely why they've used it for the right. Earth Curve maths.